All right, guys. Um, you've seen all the install. Now I have the hood up, two inverters, uh, lightning arresters up there, and uh, M E M E R T M is a M E A R T R router. M E A R T R router is already mounted, and um. The PT100 is up and um, everything tend to look pretty good. So tell me guys what you think. Um, it would have been, it saves me a lot of money just to go back and uh, order uh, the back plate, the dual back plate. So you can still do it without having um, uh, the dual back plate. So just watch what I did here and tell me what you think. I know um, a lot of you guys or some people will still uh, say um, you would have used the back plate or whatever. But I have two of the back plates. So I, I don't have to buy another one. It doesn't make sense to me. And uh, I have to save that money and put it into good use. Or maybe trying to see if I can get... Um, the left, the L or the right here, uh, um, um, combine or whatever I call like a load center. But uh, just to cover up the wires here, if I want to, but I can still go with the route I mentioned earlier on the video. So guys, this is the setup and um, I'm getting done. And after that, I'm going to jump onto the Outback. Like I told you guys, 2020 is a change. It's going to be a change here at the JW Solo USA with um, new equipment and uh, new setup, even on batteries and all that stuff and good stuff, guys. And um, I'm just doing my best to build a better system. It's not like for any other thing, better system and um uh get the power that i need so now i can able to do my 240 on uh, 120 120 on each leg and by stacking these inverters then i'm gonna be having more power is a eight kilowatts of um um eight kilowatt hours on on the inverter total and uh i can able to run any 240 loads while the outback is still there and the Outback is still going to have um, the single face, whatever you call it, one leg. It's a 120. And that's going to be running just 120s if I want to. And um, or I'm using these systems to, um, like, for summer and winter uh, um, systems. So this is the setup. Um, like I said, I have all this part laying around. I was talking to I was talking to you guys. You know, I was uh serious, dead serious about it. And um I'm glad because I have to take this route and do everything I gotta do right now. And uh, I really appreciate uh you guys comments and most of you guys don't comment, but uh you're watching and um uh if you guys have any questions or maybe you guys can throw me some comments you know friendly comments no bad comments really because um i'm not gonna have time for bad comments because uh i'm i'm busy doing my stuff and i just want to do things that i'm happy with or things i wanted and some people if some people don't like or if some people don't like what i'm doing well that's okay they have their opinion um this is my opinion and this is what i've done and uh, instead of spending extra money for that m-e-a-r m-e-a-r-t-r this is the one old deal the m-e-a-r-t-r yeah it's now installed so what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna throw this cover into it so what i did i don't have any like i said i'm gonna put some holes into this thing and I improvise because it's not des designed for it. I improvise. And what I did, I drill a hole here. I just used the original, which is like here is another original. 
and right there i i don't care because this uh uh back plate is already um it's already for project and uh just want something to mount extra stuff put a bolt right here and the original hole just like this here maybe i can able to incorporate something here later i was thinking about bringing the uh pt100 on that sec on that side but uh, i think it's going to be a little bit longer probably it's going to be all the way up here and which i don't want that very close to the terminals here because if i have to incorporate a box here i would do it or i can take this guy and move it back down here if it comes to that point or i can take this guy here and move it on the other side if i have to so let me i have to see how that box how big it is and how it's gonna fit if it's not gonna um interrupt with this lightning arrestor because i don't want to take it out um i just probably it's easy transition here with all the ports that's already back here on the side you can see all the communication ports here and it's easy to transition them on the side of this knockout so i'm gonna utilize the wire management system drop this guy down wires if i want to down and get them all the way or straight just like here all the way there so it's a process and uh um i really like um how the project is uh how the project turns out and i really like um what is going on I think I'm getting uh, so excited, happy about my system, which is uh, part of the uh, deal, uh, old deal. I want to do this and I want to do it right. So, guys, and uh, this is how it's going to stay. And this is this cover. It's going to come here. There you go. Get the cover already in. So, it's going to look like this. And... Um, all the other stuff is just going to go. It depends. It's a lot of stuff here. When you when you fabricate things or you're building things, you you have to create. You have to be really a uh, genius or you have to be really creative. You know, the wires come from this side and going to come this way and depends how you want to route them. So, um, like I said, it's a process and this is what I want to do. And this is what I'm going to do. Uh, I think there is a, a thing that you can use to uh, mount this thing. This uh, uh, M-E-A-R-T-R -R router. So if it comes to that point, I can still take it out. Because it has a, a hold on the back. On the back of these, you can able to put a hole. While the com all the wires going to go through. Because I've seen that plate then i can just order that and go with that but at this point look at that tell me what you think live here at the command center of the jw solar usa thanks for watching love you guys all and stay tuned for more to come live from this channel bye for now all right guys i uh, just want to do a quick supplement here um the other thing, again, some people might probably think when they buy the ME, ME, R, ME, A, R, C, 50. I always try to <laughs> confuse myself on that one. And it's, uh, it's nice. It's good for you to have this. The reason why you still have to keep this, never get rid of it. Because you can mount it here or you can put back the plate that is covered here. And uh, I'm speaking about this plate. This is the plate that used to be right here. Okay. And I want you guys to understand, you know, what I'm trying, when I'm talking about this guy, this stuff. So you guys can see this place this year. Don't throw it away. You can always take this plate and put that M-E-R-C, A-R-C 50. And, um, or you can able to use this other guy as a, a wall mount. See, you can set it up 
here. You can set this guy up and this is what it is. So it's still, you can use this to mount this guy right here. Or this guy, you can take this guy. They're going to work together with that guy right there. You can see the parallel connection or the stack and everything is going to tell inverter one and two, whatever they're doing. You see if this, this light's going to be like flashing lights running around and you can still have these maybe mounted somewhere in the house, just like when you have a, your thermostat um, in your house. So you can have both of them um, running well and um, you can view your stuff here. And this one can stay uh, on the system somewhere. If you set it in a remote place or maybe outside garage, it's far away. It comes with a very long cord cable. Then you can be able to get your communication all the way to that direction.